Hi friends and welcome to Book a Day for Little Learners. Today we're reading Dr. Seuss's On Beyond Zebra. Said Conrad Cornelius O'Donnell Dodell, my very young friend who is learning to spell, the A is for ape and the B is for bear, the C is for camel, the H is for hare, the M is for mouse and the R is for rat. I know all the 26 letters like that. Through to Z is for zebra, I know them all well, said Conrad Cornelius O'Donnell O'Dell. So now I know of everything anyone knows, from beginning to end, from the start to the close, because Z is as far as the alphabet goes. There's a zebra. Then he almost fell flat on his face on the floor when I picked up the chalk and drew one letter more, a letter he never had dreamed of before, and I said, you can stop if you want with the Z because most people stop with the Z, but not me. In the places I go, there are things that I see that I never could spell if I stopped with the Z. I'm telling you this because you're one of my friends. My alphabet starts where your alphabet ends. My alphabet starts with this letter called Yuz. It's the letter I use to spell Yuz and Matuz. You'll be sort of surprised what there is to be found once you go beyond Z and start poking around. He looks like the character from our last story, doesn't he? So on beyond zebra, explore like Columbus. Discover new letters like wum is for wumbus. My high spouting whale who lives high on a hill and who never comes down till it's time to refill. So on beyond Z, it's high time you were shown that you really don't know all there is to be known. Then just step a step further past wum is for wumbus, and there you'll find um, and the um is for umbus, a sort of a cow with one head and one tail. But to milk this great cow, you need more than one pail. She has 98 faucets that, faucets that give milk quite nicely, perhaps 99. I forget just precisely. And boy, she is something most people don't see because most people stop at the Z, but not me. I ramble, I scramble through swamp through and through swamp where the letters get better like let, letters like humph. There's a real handy letter. Uh, what's handy about it? You can't just spell hump hump a dumper without it. You could try making your own letter. If you stay home with zebra, you're stuck in a rut, but on beyond zebra, you're anything but. Why I know a fine fancy letter called fuddle. I use it in spelling Miss Fuddle Dee Duddle. Oh, oh, what a bird of a bird of a bird of... Her tail is the longest that ever's been heard of. So long and so fancy she'd be in a fix if she didn't have helpers. It takes about six to tag along, hoisting Miss Fuddle Dee Duddle's wonderful tail out of Muddle Dee Puddles. <laughs> Look at, I love how fancy she is. Quite the train she has. And Glick is for Glicker who lives in wild weeds and spends his time juggling fresh cinnamon seeds, which he's usually able to find in great number, excepting, of course, in the month of September, when cinnamon seeds aren't around in great number. So that month he juggles the seeds of cucumber. And N is the letter I use to spell nutches, who live in small caves known as niches. For hutches, these nutches have troubles, the biggest of which is the fact that there are many more nutches than niches. Each nutch in a niche knows that some other nutch would like to move into his niche very much. So each nutch in a niche has to watch that small niche, or nutches who haven't got niches will snitch. Then we go on to Snee, and the Snee is for Sneedle, a terrible kind, a ferocious mosquito, whose humdinger stinger is sharp as a needle. The Sneedle's too rough to be killed with a snack, a smack, so he has to be hunted on elephant's back. And your eyes and the elephants have to be keen, and you have to aim fast, and you have to bit hit clean. And the bullet you shoot is a stale navy bean that you've dunked for three weeks in an old sour kerosene, which is awfully hard work. So it's easy to see why most people stop at Z, but not me. When you go beyond zebra, who knows? There's no telling what wonderful things you might find yourself spelling. Like Quan is for Quandry, who lives on a shelf in a hole in the ocean alone by himself. 
And he worries each day from the dawn's early light, and he worries, just worries, far into the night. He just stands there and worries. He simply can't stop. In his top side, is his top side his bottom? Or bottom side top? And Thad is for Thad Thadners, and oh, they are sad, oh. The big one you see has a smaller one's shadow. The shadow the small Thanander has should be his. I don't understand it, but that's how it is. A terrible mix-up in shadows. Whew, gee whiz. That is messed up, isn't it, friends? And spaz is a letter I used to spell spasm, a beast who belongs to the nasm of basm. Handy for traveling, that's why he has M. More easy to pack than a su suitcase or grip. Those horns carry all that he needs on a trip. A thread and a needle for mending his socks, his toothbrush, a cup, and two three-handed clocks. And his velvet umbrella, his vegetable chopper, and also his gold-plated pop popping corn popper. And a grasshopper cage for his favorite grasshopper. Those are some unusual things, my friends. Three-handed clocks. Oof, crazy. And Flub is for Flub, Boober, Bab, Boober, Bubs, who bounce in the water like blubbery tubs. They're no good to eat. You can't cook them like steaks. But they're handy in crossing small oceans and lakes. And Zatz is the letter I use to spell Zatzit, whose nose is so high that most nobody pats it. And patting his lonely old nose is the least that a fellow could do for this fine, friendly beast. So to get there and do it, I built an invention, the three-seater Zatzit nose padding extension. If you try to drive one, you'll certainly see why most people stop at the Z, but not me. Look how crazy tall it is. All the way up. And jog is my letter for spelling jagoons who doodle around in the far desert dunes. Just doodle around, crooning very sad tunes about peppermint, peanuts, and pebbles, and prunes, and paint pots, and polka dots, pinheads, and pigs, and their grandmothers, grandfathers, stepsisters' wigs. So you see, there's no end to the things you might know, depending how far beyond zebra you go. I have a letter called Flun, and the Flun is for Flunnel, a softest nice fellow who hides in a tunnel. He only comes out of his hole, I'm afraid, when the right kind of soft-ish nice music is played on a kind of a hunting horn called the Ogrunth. And to learn how to play, it takes month after month of practicing, practicing. It isn't much fun. And besides, it's quite heavy. Weighs almost a tonth. That's why few people bother to play the old grunt. So the fun funnel's been out of his tunnel just once. <laughs> Looks like a rabbit, doesn't it? And way, way passy is a letter called itch. And the itch is for itchapods, animal which animals which race around back and forth, back and forth through the air on a very high sidewalk between here and there. They're afraid to stay there. They're afraid to stay here. They think there is too far. They think here is too near. And since here is too near and out there is too far, they are too scared to roost wheresoever they are. That would be exhausting. There's a letter called Yek, and the Yek is for Yekko, who howls in an underground grotto in Gecko. These Yekkos love echoes, and this is their motto. For best Yekko echoes, try Gecko, our grotto. Look, they look like they're on a gondola, like what they have in Italy, in Venice. Oh, the things you can find if you don't stay behind. On a world near the sun live two brothers called Vrooms who strangely enough are built sort of like brooms and they're stuck all alone up there high in the blue. And so to kill time just for something to do, each one of these fellows takes turns with the other in sweeping the dust off his world with his brother. That's kind of funny. They use each other. And hi is my letter for hi gargle orum for getting me places real fast. I'm all for them. They puffle along and their brakes never squeak and they run every hour every day of the week. From the town of North Nub to the town of East Ounce, making stops at West Bunglefield, Yupster and Jounce. And at Ipswich and Nipswich and also South Bounce and another small town that's too hard to pronounce. The places I took him, I tried to tell young Conrad Cornelius O'Donnell Dodell a few brand new wonderful words he might spell. I led him around and I tried hard to show 
These are things beyond Z that most people don't know. I took him past Zebra as far as I could. And I think perhaps maybe I did him some good. Because finally he said, this is really great stuff. And I guess the old alphabet isn't enough. Now the letters he uses are something to see. Most people still stop at the Z, but not he. It says list of letters for people who don't stop at Z. Ooh, look how pretty they are. Friends, you could make one too. What do you think we should call this one? Anyhow, you decide. I'll see you tomorrow for our next story.